I wanted to summarize some of the tricks that I've learned about 3D printing nylon. Most of the parts that I print are functional parts. PET is my normal go-to material of choice, but nylon does have some real advantages in terms of durability and heat resistance. The part being printed here is a motor mount for a drone. Because the motors can get hot, then PET can get soft and fail, and so nylon is a good choice. As you may know, nylon requires a higher print temperature than other common materials, so you'll need to fit an all-metal hot end to your printer. Poor bed adhesion is a real challenge of working with nylon. I found using a thicker first layer extrusion width and a squirt of hairspray on my glass print bed does help with this. The strings and poor finish of this gear are because of moisture in the filament, which is the biggest challenge of working with nylon. This print shows the same gear after I dried the filament and it has a much nicer finish, although I trashed the gear teeth by using a default extrusion width that was too great. Uh, so I, I reduced that and uh, made the final print shown here. You can try drying the filament in a normal oven, although you're just as likely to deform the spool and make a mess. This is the first filament dryer that I bought, although the maximum temperature was only 55 degrees, which isn't sufficient for drying nylon. The thing that really improved the performance of my nylon prints was that I recently bought this Print Dry Pro. This is able to heat at up to 75 degrees and drying the filament for 12 hours at that temperature is enough to drive the moisture out of the filament. Another important parameter to play with is the extrusion width, which effectively translates to the pressure that is applied when printing consecutive layers. For all my functional prints, even with PET, I set this to one and a half or two times my extruder diameter to make sure I get a really strong interlayer bond. So the extruder print temperature is one of the other things you can play with that has a big impact on the strength of your print. Uh, to measure that, I designed these simple cantilevers, printed them at a whole range of temperatures, and then went about measuring how much force I had to apply to break the part. So looking at the data, you can see that there is a really strong dependence of the strength of the print on the extruder temperature. Um, however, as the temperature gets too hot, then you start to get a lot of stringing and um, problems with the kind of definition of, of the detail. Uh, so I've settled on around about 270 degrees for my prints. I hope something here has been interesting and useful to you to justify the few minutes of your life. If you've got any nylon printing tips of your own, please put it in the comments um, to help let others know.